Old lady, I remember mining for diamonds at Y12, 11. Okay, okay, sure, Grandma. Let's get you to bed. Welcome back, everybody. It's me, your British boy. Minecraft Survival Episode Number 5. So that meme, that's a really nice meme. It sets the tone perfectly for today's episode, but it's actually not the meme of the day. Instead of the meme of the day, the art of the day. Look at this work of art right here. A masterpiece. Oxy, thank you so much. This is, like, basically the most aesthetic thing I've ever looked at, and it's got everybody here, too. The tropical fish. We need to name this thing. I'm thinking Ned. The tropical fish definitely looks like a Ned to me. Today's the day of the day, not the day that we find the first diamond. We've already taken care of that in the series, but uh, uh, you know that, you know that. Today is actually the day that we finally get a diamond pickaxe, full diamond armor, and every diamond tool too. Or at least a pickaxe. Just like where the boat is currently sitting, today we're shooting for the stars. That analogy right there, it definitely deserves a like, so consider it. Oh yes, and the name of the mountain. Well, you see the name of the mountain? You're actually going to have to watch until the end of the video. Watch the entire video. You won't, won't believe it. You're exactly actually going to be shocked, shocked by the name of the mountain. mountain. It's at the end of the episode, so you're going to have to watch through the whole episode. Oh my gosh, that, uh, that reminds me. The, the cow noise. So the cow isn't exactly like uh, getting along with the goats inside of here. I added a few things to this pen, but yeah. The goats just charge at the cow like randomly and, and slam it. And now it's hiding in a corner. <laughs> we should probably get the cow out of this thing, but... Uh, the goats are doing well. Doing well. That's what I said the whole time. The goats are doing well. So, I've been considering how I want to actually pull this off today. Do I want to make an iron chest plate? I mean, I have enough iron right there. That could be easy. Uh, I don't think we need it. I mean, I went down into the caves a little earlier on, and really, how hard could it be? Like, this is a gigantic cave right here. Maybe we get lucky. This cuts us straight to deep slate. Diamond profit, nice and quickly. And it's great and glorious, and all without an iron chest plate, too. We don't need it. So the big thing with mining down in the depths that I was firmly reminded of in the first episode is coal. Coal doesn't generate down there. If we're going to go down to the depths, we're going to need to prepare, which means find as much coal as possible. I looked around the storage building and I found like 40-something coal. I just found a small patch of coal right there and there's some right over there. So we're going to get all of the coal that we can get. And then we're going to the depths. See, of course, one of the biggest shakeups of 1.18 is the whole mining stuff. The ores generate at different ranges, and I love it. It actually makes things fresh again, which is really, really exciting. I mean, I only play this game, like, basically every single day, so it thinks you get a little bit more different. <laughs> That's great news for me. So this is going to be my way up. I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious. Hopefully I don't miss it, and if I miss it, well then I probably should just live down inside of the caves. Uh, so the first plan, actually, with this series was was to make a cave base. I was going to jump into episode one, go down into the caves, stay inside of the caves for, like, the longest time, set up a base, and everything inside of the caves. I mean, a cave base? Yeah, that would be really cool, and it's also something that I, like, basically never... Oh! 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 Oh, spiders. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 I was gonna say, maybe that was what I was hearing last episode when I was digging dirt. No, definitely not, those are spiders. Oh, that's amazing. That's, like, that's amazing. What do you think about that? Oh, you're excited. Yeah, 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 I'm excited too. That's amazing. We're gonna remember that, we'll come back to that later. So, in preparation for today's episode, I did something amazing. I was out at the sea for hours and hours and hours, and by hours, I mean, like, eh, five, ten minutes. The, the cod just constantly spawn, and I got a ton of food. This is right now actually the most food that I've ever had inside of this world. It's really, really cool. I know it's great. Eventually, we're going to have even more and even better food. But there's a certain farm that's banned inside of this world. So if you've seen my previous series, uh, usually you would know by now I've made a cow crusher. A cow crusher? Well, that's actually law number one. Completely banned from this world. You see, I'm a new me, but not only a new me, the best version of me that has ever existed. Ethical, moral, and perfect and perfect um no 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 not the silverfish not the silverfish okay 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 well maybe we should reconsider this uh whole like armor thing N maybe but that's actually the perfect example of what i mean i'm a new me i'm ethical and i'm moral more moral than ever before the old me would have just taken out that silverfish not a problem at all and the creeper too the new me likes to give everything a fighting chance including cows inside of a cow crusher they don't belong there we're gonna figure out something else something better for food soon Okay, so spider spawner right up there, can not miss it, I will remember it for sure, but this cave, this cave looks like it goes really, really deep, and there's things inside of the cave too. Okay, well, how are we going to deal with this? If only there's something in the game to help with skeleton arrows, they're the most annoying thing in the world. I've cooked up what I think is a decently solid plan, sneak attack. We move down the mountain like this, eventually we find the skeleton, um, somewhere in here, and we just take it out. So while I work on the skeleton situation, I've got a question for you. Your Dunkin' Donuts order, what is it? 
Tell me now. No, like, uh, uh, really, what's your coffee order? Mine's hazelnut iced latte, extra shot of espresso. Really great, but I'm kind of getting tired of it. I need a new one. Got him. All right, cleaned him up, lads. Here we are, down into the depths. Now, I'm insanely nervous about a creeper falling on me, so hopefully that, that could just not happen. It's actually banned. Creepers won't be allowed to fall down on me. That's great. That makes it way, way easier. Here we are in the depths. My plan... I don't have, like, the most coal in the world, so hopefully if we could just conserve torches and find diamonds, that would be great. Conserve torches, find diamonds, beautiful, gigantic, low squid falling, and a baby zombie. All right, child, what do you think about this? Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 you're so young. You're not wise at all. You're not wise at all. The tower. Yep, buddy, next time come armed with blocks instead of a friend. Your friend is not tall enough either. <laughs> think again, small brainless child. That won't stop me. Uh, so the diamonds. We're in the negative Y range now because of the deep slate everywhere. Diamonds could be everywhere. They could be on the ceiling. They could be on the floor. I've seen a lot of comments about night vision potions. That's beautiful, but come on. Like, do you know the recipe for the night vision potion? Uh, I didn't at first, so I looked it up for this episode. I can never remember the potion recipes. A golden carrot. Uh, like, uh, like a golden carrot right now? Yeah, that's gonna be practically impossible. However, one day, with night vision potions walking around inside of these gigantic caverns like this, uh, yeah, yeah, that's like basically the smartest move possible. I think night vision potions would help, like, immensely spotting diamonds. I mean, with a cave this big, there's gotta be at least one diamond somewhere in here. And, uh, I could miss it. Like, if it's up top in some dark corner, yeah. Definitely. Easy to miss. So this cave. I like this cave way better. That first cave, I don't even care about it anymore. This cavern with the glow squids over there. Is there like a glow squids water inside of this? Whoa, what? This is beautiful. This is definitely cave based material for sure. With the glow squids like spawning up there and just falling down. It, it's art. It's art. True art to my eyes. Okay, so if you're thinking to yourself right now, I can't see anything. Turn your brightness up. Well, don't comment that. Just just please don't. It gets really, really old. There's no other new jokes I can make about it. Just don't comment it. My brightness? Well, look, we'll put it this way. My brightness is all the way up at 100% brightness, and there's a baby zombie again. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna deal with that really quick. Problem solved. Not a chance at all, child. Haha, <laughs> your absent parents should maybe teach you to build up. All right, but on with the cave. Back to lighting this thing up. So this cave, this is probably one of the best case things that we could ever find. You see diamonds? They're different now. To prep for the episode, I was doing a little bit of research. Just like everything else, diamonds generate at a brand new level now. The man, the myth, the legend, Izuma, he put in the time, he put in those hours, he ran the numbers and found the negative 58 is probably going to be the best layer to mine for diamonds. Now, branch mining. Ideally, I don't branch mine to find diamonds. The glow squid farm, we finally made it. There are so many glow squids just falling here. I feel like I should solve that problem, but at the same time, like, it's not my problem. I didn't vote for them. So, the deeper we go, the more diamonds that we should find. However, we're already really, really deep, so theoretically, they could be anywhere. Like right here. Well, maybe not here. It actually makes me, like, insanely nervous, but I, I feel that leaving the lava sources is probably the best possible idea. I mean, more lava means more light naturally, less torches, that's perfect. And more light means less of these things, way less of them. All right, small child, try and get me now. I'm inside of the water. What do you think about the water? Oh, you never learned to swim. That's right. Hold on. Is that what I see? Oh, it is what I see. My eyes don't trick me ever. It is what I see right over there. Diamonds. What do you think about that green, buddy? What do you think about it? Oh, you don't know what they are. Uh-huh. Diamonds, sweet diamonds. I see diamonds, and I know exactly where to go. Straight over to the diamonds, so I don't forget them. There they are. I thought I saw some more. Maybe right over there, though. We're going to have to be really careful about this, though. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. That makes me nervous. All right, so I think I lit up the top area pretty well. Like, it should be pretty safe up there, so hopefully nothing falls down on me. Uh, check the perimeter. Check the perimeter. We don't need anything popping in on us on the perimeter. Definitely not. Like you. Like you. Yeah, we, we definitely don't need that. See, this is like my first time ever really testing this stuff in true survival, but I feel like it might be a lot smarter to try and like get the first diamonds, get some enchantments going, and then come back down and just fortune everything. I feel like that might like make the process way more simple. Look at this. We're actually loaded. Never mind about that. Three diamonds right here. That's a pickaxe. That's a one solid and, and full and, and durable pickaxe. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's all up from here. Because we already have one diamond in the storage building, I, I think what I'm going to try and do is just preserve that diamond. I mean, that was our first diamond of the entire world. That's a very special moment for sure. We will never get that moment again. Diamonds. They're all over the place. <laughs> Find a big cave and you've had the diamonds. I'm going to save the first diamond that we found. Uh, we can't use it. We'll put it inside of an item frame or something, just like the wooden pickaxe. It's a trophy forever. How many diamonds will come from this thing? Maybe like five? Can we get like five diamonds from this thing? Uh, from watching Izuma's video, I know the patches of diamonds are, like, way smaller now. Mmm... Hmm. 
The man doesn't lie. Oh, oh no, oh no, I saw that, I saw that sneaky, sneaky skeleton. No, 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 uh-uh, um, yeah, just despawn for me. By the way, I do realize there's all of these other ores down here too, uh, they're really, really cool, and they do intrigue me, especially the gold, for the golden carrots, actually. Uh, don't get me wrong, gold is worthless. Like, the stuff, it, it intrigues me, for sure, all of this stuff is really, really cool, but I'm not really worried about it today. It's pure diamonds. So anyways, now there are two skeletons over here. They continually spawn. Mm, yeah, that's, that's right. That's gonna be a thing. Uh-huh. These caves are, like, insane, though. Because of all of the new shapes, like, I kind of don't even know where to check. Like, I find these random holes cutting through, and I'm like, do I follow it? I mean, yes, I'm following it right now, and it's going somewhere, which is cool. But it's, like, completely different. Like, the old caves, you just memorize the shapes, and then you kind of follow them. And you know which ones are gonna maybe be a dead end, and which ones are gonna actually maybe go somewhere. These ones, you have no clue at all. Oh, wow, look at this one. It looks like it goes up, like, quite a ways, too. Whoa, no, 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 no. I mean, it, yes, yes, it goes up. Like, I, I did go up, but it leads to another big cave. Skeleton right inside of there. I'm wondering about that. You know what? Make the move for it. Make the move for it. It has some armor. Maybe it will drop the leather armor. That will be great. Drop the leather armor. Drop the... No, just... Yes. Please don't be a helmet. You're not a helmet. You're boots. The powder snow will never be able to stop me now. All right, so there's another one, and this time it doesn't have any armor. So this one, this should be a piece of cake for me. Right there. Piece of cake. See, there's a small problem. I'm kind of worried about my inventory filling up, like, all the way. Like, definitely that would be an issue. Um, but also, I feel like if I leave these ores down here, when will I actually, like, genuinely ever come back down here and pick these things up? I feel like I should maybe try and get some of them, but maybe that big cavern? Like, that's, like, literally right under the base, so... Maybe I just skip those ones. Hold on, hold on, watch this, I have an idea. So really low space in here, I was gonna dig through it. Nope, that's a waste of time. We just crawl right through the thing with a trap door. We move on to the next part of the cave, and this thing is gigantic, and is that, did I see? Oh, you know what? It was the shirt of the zombie that threw me off. It was the shirt of the zombie, and there's a skeleton. So what do we do? We go back over here, trap door. It will never be able to get me. No, 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 stop skeleton. You can't get me. Well, since that's another gigantic cavern, I might as well finish off this one first. Take a look around, see what we can find. This thing is really big, and it seems to go just as deep as the other one, which is great. Negative 32? Yeah, that's pretty deep. Also, spawners are supposed to be more common. Maybe we can find a spawner. I mean, I hear a zombie right now. Does it go to a spawner? Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm seeing, uh, I see a torch, uh, over here. This all wraps around. Yeah, mm-hmm. This is where I was running around before. It all connects. Uh-huh, interesting. I found another one. You know, this makes me wonder, like, what do you do if you're in an area with none of these gigantic caverns? Like, do you even, uh, do you even try? Like, waste your time trying to find diamonds in that area? Or do you just find a different cave, like, somewhere else with these big caverns? <laughs> you know what I just realized? I checked it. One piece of iron. <laughs> this whole time. One iron. Uh, it's fine. We'll have a farm for it soon, but one iron. Mmm, never mind. It's two iron. And actually, three iron, too. Redstone. I mean, hey, it's redstone. Why not? We could always use more redstone. See, the tricky part about diamonds being, like, literally everywhere instead of, like, down below you usually is... I, I mean, there's literally everywhere. Like, looking around on the ceiling, having to watch over those corners. Uh, night vision, 100%. Night vision is definitely the trick. Look at that. You see what I mean? This is exactly it. And I know that maybe comes off as, like, set up or something like that, but no, no, like, that wasn't set up. This is exactly my point. The diamonds are literally everywhere, <laughs> including, like, these random, like, deep corners and stuff. Uh, and it's so hard to see. Six clean diamonds, six of them, count them, that's great. We could stop here, but we're not gonna. We're gonna keep going. I mean, I've run out of torches again, but not out of coal. See, this time I came completely prepared. Food, I've got it. Coal for extra torches, check, I have it. Great skill at this game. Yep, I've also brought that too. Mm-hmm, so another sneaky cave that cuts under the surface and goes back to the surface with nothing in it. It all comes full circle, really, truly, doesn't it? Hey, we are back over at this spot. Looks like the skeleton's gone over there, so we'll have to move over there. But first, I found this. This is very, very deep looking and also very suspicious. So you know that cheat about using the F3 screen to look through the block and see if there's any deep slate diamonds anywhere? Yeah, uh, that's a cheat. I would never be using that at all. Definitely not, especially down low, considering the fact that diamonds generate down here, like more commonly at negative 58. Yeah, I would never be using that cheat, never. All diamonds that you see here, they're 100% certified, naturally sourced diamonds. That means no using F3 screen to find diamonds like your competitors do. Get that trash out of here. You know, I've got to say, I like this area so much more with the skeletons gone. It feels, oh, that's an enchanted bow. That's, that bow has an enchantment. Is it a good enchantment? No clue. Am I going to find out? No clue. I also saw a creeper somewhere in there, so that's a little bit of a problem too. Mildly concerning. This cave seems to go somewhere though. That's cool. 
Well, hold on just a minute. Who is that that I hear? Perhaps the skeleton with the enchanted bow? Maybe? Could it be? Right behind this wall? Uh, right behind this wall? No? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I found silverfish and they took my boots away. Hey, silverfish, no, look, the only good thing that can come from you is possibly a mob head, so maybe one of you wanna drop the mob head. So six diamonds, that's what I have right now. Six diamonds total, that's gonna add up to a brand new pickaxe, a brand new sword, and half of an enchantment table, I, I think. If I could find one more diamond, that would be basically perfect. If I could find a couple more diamonds, then that would be even more than perfect. So that's what we're gonna shoot for, even more than perfect, but at least one, that's great for me. Uh, hey, 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 what did I just get? Did they just decide to give me? Oh, they did. You shouldn't have done that. Hey, that's a bat, can I get a bat head? <gasps> it just hit me. It just hit me right here, what I was looking at. I thought the deep slay looked different. No, 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 that's not Deep Slate, that's not Deep Slate, it definitely looks different, but that's not Deep Slate, you know what we just found? We just found basically the best thing in the world, this thing, we found one, the music machine, it's here, uh, I shouldn't have broke that one, but the music machine, it's here. The only thing that could make it any better, a little bit better, would be diamonds around this thing, doesn't look like it, that's a pretty big geode though, that's cool. Is this another room? It is, these caves are insane, they just keep... They just keep going, and they just keep giving to. Wow. So, so far, I think the biggest amount of diamonds that I found is like three diamonds right at the beginning. Uh, all of the other chunks of diamonds that I found have been like one diamond or, or like two. Like, that's literally it. You know. Imagine going through these caves, though, w without the torch change. Like, the mob spawning change, light level seven. That would be like basically the worst thing in the world. Having to put torches down like literally everywhere, spam them to, to get to light level seven. Like, that would be a nightmare. I wouldn't even want to be doing this. I never know what to think, though, when I find diamonds. Like, should I be digging around these things now? I mean, probably, just to be safe, right? Hmm. That sounds like a lot of spiders. Like, a high amount of them. Is there another spawner down here? Can we find it? Oh, 100%. It's gotta be. That's so many spiders. I don't know if it's up, though, to be honest. When I go up, it, it seems to get a little bit more quiet. I mean, we're pretty close to the bottom of the world, but there's definitely room, so... Maybe it's down? <laughs> I can never figure out where these things are actually coming from. Oh, it is down. Okay, let's see if we can get a name tag. I could really use a name tag for one of the projects I want to do. So, dungeon with spiders inside of it. Very cool. I Yeah, you're way too big to give me. Name tag? Do you have a name tag in here, maybe? Could you have, like, one name tag? Uh, you can have infinity. Okay, that's cool. That's great. You broke my pickaxe. Come on, how could you do that? There is that other spider dungeon that we have. Pumpkin seed string. I mean, I think all of this is basically useless. I will take that. I mean, that's kind of nice. Uh, the golden apple, I'll take that, too, and the music. We love the music. Horse armor? Coal. It's actually kind of crazy looking inside of this uh, this menu here and seeing all these diamond tools. <laughs> so this is what luxury feels like. My inventory is full though. I don't know what to carry. I, I should probably make a bundle. Gold. Redstone. Got him. Iron. Basically, the biggest cavern that I've ever seen in the world. Another geode. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, actually, this thing is huge. Gigantic aquifer over there, like a million zombies inside of this cave. And it actually reaches all the way around to that spot right there. I, I don't know exactly where that spot was, but there was a torch there, so I was there before. Thank you very much for that bow. Looking brand new. Diamonds. Level 30. These aquifers with Optifine are actually so cool. The glow squid actually glow, and it really adds to the ambiance of this place. I think I could maybe look around inside of this aquifer too, because of all the water. And uh, maybe find more diamonds. That could be pretty cool. Diamonds. Diamonds. Aha! A carrot! Diamonds. 
And so, with food beginning to run low, inventory space gone a long time ago, I decided it was time to make my way out of this cavern. On my way out, I wrote down the coordinates of the cavern because it's huge, massive. Came nowhere near actually finishing caving the entire cavern out, and uh, there wasn't even a chance today. My plan is to come back to this thing later on with Fortune 3, and really just rake in the profits. With how many diamonds I have, at this point, I feel that mining any more diamonds without Fortune 3 is really just wasting the diamonds, being kind of funny. I mean, it's basically a no-brainer. Come back with Fortune 3 and, yeah, you know you know how it goes. Also, <laughs> making a staircase to get out of this thing was basically like the longest job in the world. Staircasing to get your way out of a cave system, uh, it might not be the way out of the caves anymore. Uh, especially if you're inside of a mountain biome, like I was. Anyways, eventually, the rain noise has begun to fade in. That meant I was close to the surface. After a little bit more digging, I finally broke the surface. Small problem? Where am I? It's a brand new world. I don't know the coordinates of the base. But also, please, please, don't underestimate me. Eventually, I was able to figure it out. That brings us to... Now! That brings us to now. So the caving trip? I mean, I would say it went pretty well. I think it lasted a little bit over an hour. This is what we got. I mean, not bad. In terms of random loot, all of this stuff up here, the big finds are two spawners and two geodes. That's like huge. We could set up farms at either of those geodes. 19 blocks of redstone. That's like insane. We're set for a while. 49 pieces of raw gold. 33 pieces of raw iron. Not too bad. We'll have a farm soon. And all of this copper. I also came out with more coal than I started. I'm, I'm pretty sure at least. So that's a good thing. Now, how about the diamonds? That's what you're wondering about. Where, where do they go? Where do I hide them? Well, no, no, no. They're right there. 15 diamonds. I mean, I wouldn't say that's too bad. So, in all of my time spent down in the caves today, of course, I forgot obsidian. We're going to have to go back and get some obsidian so we can set up an enchantment setup. But also, because I haven't been doing the whole cow thing, I, I kind of don't have any leather yet. Now, I didn't want to mention one thing that I changed about the boat, and that's going to be this right here. I saw a comment talking about lightning rod on top of the wood. Saw it a couple episodes ago. I decided to fix it. Completely forgot to mention it. Hopefully, this is going to burn the ship down. <laughs> if that doesn't fix it, if it's going to burn the ship down, uh, please help your guy out. Uh, just, just let me know about that. But yeah, I moved the lightning rods up one block. Here we are, the end of the episode. A small montage of me doing some things right here. You thought I would forget. Mm-mm-mm, definitely not forgetting. The name of the mountain. So this was actually really, really fun. I plan on doing this more in the future. I loved the submissions. They were beautiful, great, wonderful. But I don't think it was even close. I looked at the comments. Based off of the comments that were trying to name the mountain, I think the highest one rose from Ethan Brown Explorations. Mount Axawatl. Perfectly fitting and somewhat emotional. We live on top of Mount Axawatl. That's going to do it for episode 5 of Minecraft Survival. I hope you enjoyed it. Personally, I had a ton of fun down in the caves. Like, obviously, they're completely new, and it means a completely different experience. Super excited to continue to cave inside of the series. Try out a couple different methods, like actually being geared up, night vision potions, things like that. If you have any ideas, things you'd like me to try out, throw them down in the comments. I definitely could be doing this all day long, but uh, the episode is already kind of starting to get long, so that's that. Remember, Destroy Like December, it's still happening. Subscribe for more episodes just like this and comment what you think we're going to do in the next episode down in the comments. Huge, huge thank you to my patrons, Sortiri, Tanner B, and Faithful Grimoire. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.